Okay, well, I wanted to uh, take one more a peek at uh, some equation solving, which is not going to look like quadratic equation solving, but in fact really is. These are sort of fancy equations that look more souped up than they really uh, deserve to be. The first one is the following. x to the fourth minus 9x squared plus 14 equals 0. Now, you look at that and say, wow, that's a quartic. The highest degree is 4. This doesn't look too good. But the thing to notice is that, in fact, I have a x squared here, and I can view this as x squared squared. That is to say, I could just use a little law of exponent property here, and notice that x to the fourth is just x squared squared. So really, this is a quadratic equation in terms of x squared. Now, there's two ways of doing this. We can just call this something else. Or we could just think about it as an x squared. Let me show you exactly what I mean here. Let me write this down. So we have x squared squared minus 9x squared plus 14 equals 0. So let's make a, a little variable change here. Let me call that little blop something. See, the x squared. I'll call it g for green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's let g equal x squared for the moment. Okay. Just a little substitution there to get out that x squared. If I do that, this now becomes just a g. But it's g squared. So I have g squared minus 9g plus 14 equals 0. See what I did? I just took those x squareds, those blobs, and replaced it by g. But this one requires me to square it still. Now, let's see if this can be factored or not. I have a g and a g. Same sign, they're both negative. And let's see, what produces uh, 14 that would combine to give 9? I think 7 and 2 work pretty well. You can check that. g squared minus 2g minus 7g is a minus 9g, and this produces a 14. So we're in good shape. And now I want to solve this. So either uh, g minus 2 equals 0 or uh, g minus 7 equals 0. So what we have is g equals 2 or g equals 7. So it looks like the answers are 2 and 7. We can do a little dance. 2 and 7, 2 and 7. But those both, both are wrong. Why? Because that's the answer to the g question. Our question is an x question. So we have to go back and remember that g is actually x squared. So now what I have to do is go back, remember this fact, and put that in over here. So how would that look? What that would look like is the following. So this is now a separate thing we have to do. We have to go back and say, well, let's see. That means that x squared equals 2. And if x squared equals 2, I can solve that. There are two solutions to that. x equals plus or minus the square root of 2. So in fact, this one solution for g gives me two solutions for x. And then what's the other possibility? The other possibility is that x squared equals 7, which means x equals plus or minus the square root of 7. So in fact, to this equation that is a fourth degree equation, notice we have four different solutions. We have x equals square root of 2, x equals minus square root of 2, x equals square root of 7, x equals minus square root of 7. And those are all the solutions. So when you have a 4 degree thing, you actually could have as many as 4 solutions. And the way I found it was to first realize it's a quadratic in disguise. And I solved that quadratic and then put back the x squared for these things, took plus or minus square roots, and got the 4 solutions. OK, I think I have time to at least start one more with you. How about this one? x, square, x to the sixth plus x cubed minus 6 equals 0. Let me have you try this one really fast, see if you can make any headway on it.